Happy birthday! Hope you like your gift! Gummy bears? Really, guys? They're magic! Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. Hey, check it out! Someone left five bucks on the street. Wait, don't go over there. That car came out of nowhere. How did you know that was gonna happen? I, I don't know, I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? You wanted to see me, Mr. Peters? Yes, I have an assignment for you. And it's not on paper, if you know what I mean. Actually, I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With bricks? No, wait, I think he's gonna... Oh no! Our table! It's broken! What color should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. Hey, can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No. Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I I just said no. Oh, come on, just let me go. Okay, sure, honey, you can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return the shirt I bought here. Sure, do you have the receipt? I don't, I actually lost it. Oh, yeah, no receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care, I need the receipt, okay? Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy, I just want to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute! What? Who are you? <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Please don't be bad. <laughs> Hey, Dad, I'm gonna head to Jessica's party. Now, wait just a minute. Don't worry, Mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break with the news about the divorce. Uh, you and Mom are getting a divorce? I didn't... Oh, no, you got mine reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. Good morning, Bria. Good morning, Mr. Peters. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. What a creep. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie! Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take your friendship bracelet back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here! <gasps> I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. <sighs> now that my elbow's finally healed, I'm going with green today. Well, what is that? Wait, can I control time? Oh, this is going to be fun. Why are you packing a suitcase? I'm moving out, honey, remember? Yeah, the divorce. You know, this whole thing isn't right. I know you still care about Mom. You just need to show her a little more. Now, before I unpause him, I'm going to give him this to hold for Mom. Perfect. Daniel, who prepared this dinner? Dad did. I did? I, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, baby, this is really romantic. Okay, I don't need to see this. You ready for the talent show? Wait, that was today? Don't tell me you forgot. Of course not. <laughs> Taught myself how to play this in one hour, so let's hope it goes well. She's really good. You can be adopted by a single father or a single mother. Do you want to do single father? No, no men. Mean. Oh, okay. Miss, that's her over there. Why is she wearing a hospital gown? We found her in it and she won't take it off. Honey, this is the single mom that's gonna adopt you. Say hi. She doesn't know how to talk too well. Poor thing. Hi, I'm gonna be your mom. Mom? Yes, you're gonna come live with me now. Come on, let's go. Don't be scared. You can trust me. Honey, you're gonna have to change out of that. No. Yes, you need to. Sweetheart, please. Mom, maybe I can try and talk to her. Hi, I'm your new big sister. Sister? Yeah, do you want to come and maybe see my room and then we can... Oh, yeah, I'm real. <laughs> so, this is my room. Nice. Also here, I want to give you this. It's a tank top and it's super fuzzy and pretty. Pretty? Yeah, you should totally try it on. I think it would look super cute on you. See, you look so pretty. 
My mom said they found you on the side of the road. How did that- Bad men. Oh. Do you want to talk about- No? Okay. <sighs> Dinner's ruined, girls. The chicken's still frozen. I can help. What is she- <gasps> Oh my what gosh, oh my gosh! What is she- <gasps> Oh my what gosh, oh my gosh! How did she do she that? She has powers, oh my god. Mad? No, no, honey. We're not mad. We're just a little shocked. No hurt. What? No, no one's gonna hurt you. Those bad men that you were telling me about, did they hurt you? Mom, it's probably because of her powers. That's horrible. Don't worry, we're gonna keep you safe here. So, can you do anything else, honey? Lift. Heavy. Can you show us what you mean? Whoa. Oh my gosh, she's lifting me up. That's incredible. Strong. Yes, you are very strong. Do you have any other powers that we should know about? One more. Wind. Wind? What is- Mom, I think she's trying to show us. Get out of the way. Oh, alright. She wants us to move. How is she doing that? Wow. I stay? Of course you can stay here, honey. But we can never tell anyone or show anyone your powers. Do you understand? Okay, good. Mom, why are you smiling so much? Don't tell me you're still talking to that guy. Well, I can't be a single mom forever. Would it be okay if I invited him over for dinner? It's fine with me, but- No, no men. Bad. Honey, men aren't all bad. He's gonna be here right now, honey. Can you please just give him a chance? I promise everything will be fine. The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Bad, bad man. Mean. Dan, I'm sorry. She has a fear of men. Oh, poor thing. Hey, it's okay. Oh, sweetie. Mom, maybe I should take her upstairs. You want to come with me? Come on, let's go. Poor kid. Don't you want to try to talk to him? No, I fight. I kill him. <gasps> hey, stop. You can't do that. I didn't mean to yell, but you can't hurt people with your powers. Hey, kid, I was telling your mom that I'm a therapist and I'd like to help you. Lie. Can I have some time alone to talk to her? Sure, Dan. She really needs help. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. We'll just be a few minutes. Hey, look at me. I really missed you. Hey, watch it. You know what happens when you act up. I spent a long time looking for you. What happened to your mom because she didn't listen? Dead. So what do you think's gonna happen to your new mom if you don't listen? Dead. So what are you gonna say when we go out there? Nothing. Good girl. Dan, are you sure about this? I'm just gonna take her for a relaxing car ride to get her used to me, you know? Honey, are you sure that's okay? She's fine with it. Right? Finally, we're back to the lab. Now give me that. Uh, no. Ugh, I forgot how strong you are. Let go, or you're going to the mean doctor. Okay, kid, now you're gonna have to change back into this. Keep? No, that goes off. Please? I said take it off. Now go change. I change. I told you to take off that- <phone rings> Laura, hey. Mom. You say one word and you're done. I'm gonna take the phone off mute and you're gonna stay silent. Dan, is everything okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, really? Help, honey? Mm -hmm. Sweetheart? Sorry, Laura, she's- Oh, ugh. Oh. Ugh, you broke my hand, you little- uh, uh. I escape again. Ugh. Honey, someone please answer me. Mom, come find- What? What's happening? Mom, Dan probably kidnapped her. Sissy, where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Room. Okay, honey, we need more details. What does it look like? White. Mom, she barely knows how to talk. Okay, um, do you know how to dial 911? I... Sorry, Laura. You won't be seeing her anymore. Hurt. Dan, what did you do? Goodbye. Honey. Doctor, I, I found the girl, but we gotta hurry up because she's gonna wake up any minute. Well, look who's waking up. I heard you have been a very bad girl today. You have broken Dr. Dan's hand, so now you must wear restraints. You will not escape ever again. Let. Me. Go. Watch out for laser- <laughs> Get the glasses quickly! Bad kid. <sighs> Hurry, doctor, put them on. No, no. That sedation is not strong enough for her. We're gonna have to get her with the tranquilizer. I'd be good, please. No, you are going to sleep. We need more blood. Okay, let's go get the equipment. Honey, I'm here. I tracked Dan's phone. What did they- Hey, get uh, away from her. Uh, Dan, stop it. 
You shouldn't have come here, Laura. Uh, how could you do this? Mom! Sorry, kid, but I'm gonna have to get rid of your new mom now, and you'll be too weak to stop me. No. I... strong. That's right, honey. Get him! No, stop! Oh. Mouth is going- oh. You. Dead. Oh my gosh, Mom! I'm okay, honey. Mom. Sissy. You find. Yeah, we're so happy we found you. Come here, honey, hold my hand. We go home? Yeah, we're gonna go- <gasps> Mom, there's a man in that glass tank. Dad! He dead. Oh my! Mom, it kinda looks like he's- <gasps> Oh, he's alive! There's a man in that glass tank. Dad! That's your father? He dead. Oh my! I don't know, it kinda looks like he's still- <gasps> He's alive. Menere. Sen. Sir, we don't understand you. Apana. No. Bien dare. Kill. Ma. Sa. Family. Huh? No hurt. No hurt. Speak English. Sir, we're just trying to help. You help. Yes, I care for your daughter. She adapt. Sissy, it's called adopt. Adopt me. Huh. New mother. She's pretty. Apan. <laughs> what is she saying? She thinks that I should be your husband. <laughs> well, she is a single mother. Honey, stop. Mom, we go home? They have helped us enough. We leave them alone. Sir, we don't mind. We want to keep you safe. See, they nice. Fine, we shall go with them. Yay! There's the exit. <sighs> I can't open. I still weak. Get back. <laughs> He just ripped off the door. How did he? He very strong. Guess you got your jeans from him. <laughs> Mom, I hungry. Kara, how do we say it the right way? I am hungry. Good, what do you want? Mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Sissy, help me warm it up. Okay. She is cute. I think she gets it from you. Someone has a crush. <laughs> Get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared something would happen to the race car driver, so I'm gonna go with billionaire. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. You got that as an option? My choices were a garbage man or a teacher. That is so not fair. Whoever it is is gonna think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. This is the man who's gonna adopt you. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. First things first, you're gonna need some of these. What are these for? A lot of paparazzi follow Mr. Knight. I'm his assistant. Hi, I suggest you put those on now. Mr. Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. Your house is really nice, sir. Aw, oh, thank you. What's that? This is a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, sorry, kid. No, I'm not married. That's okay. I'll just adjust some things. I don't know about this. People are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, we'll bring her back to the adoption center. Good morning, you look sad. Well, it's just that I can't find any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. What? Why would you- They were hideous. We can't have you wearing orphan clothes. But- Hush, follow me. Oh, this is much better. But the dress is a little bit short. You're 16, not 6. Now hand that thing over. No! What's going on in here? Mr. Knight, your assistant, she's trying to take away my plush. Susan? She needs to act her age. Please don't let her, Mr. Knight. This is really special to me. She's too old for it. It has to go- <gasps> No! Don't be so dramatic, dear. You'll be fine. Smile, Madeline. We're going to do a photo shoot. Smile bigger! Stop the cameras. That's enough pictures. Here, Madeline. Look what I found. How about we do something on your list today? I saw you wrote down Disneyland. Wanna do that? Okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? Psst, kid, here. Thank you. Madeline, we need to talk. Mr. Knight doesn't have time to be taking you places. He said that he had fun spending time with me, and that I can keep this. Oh, is that so? Don't make me send you back to that- Susan, I need your help. Coming, sir. What's next on the list today, kid? Are you sure you have time? Yeah, I need a little break from work anyways. Well, I always wanted to go to a science museum. All right, science museum it is. Susan, prepare a driver for us, please. Of course. Have a good time? Yes, it was so much fun. <laughs> it really was. I'm sorry if I'm too much of a distraction for you. Kid, you're not a distraction. In fact, I think you're exactly what I needed in my life. Okay, you rest now and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Sir, the paparazzi got you at the science museum today. And so many articles have been written. I don't care about the articles anymore. What? Shh. 
I'm not gonna use a kid to get me more publicity. The plan's off. But sir, guess I'll just have to get rid of you myself. And I know just what to do. I found someone from your real family. You did? Yes, dear, your Uncle Nick. I don't remember an Uncle Nick. He'll explain everything, darling. He's here. So you're her mom's brother? Yeah. How did you find me? You're all over the news. I know you probably don't recognize me. Your mom didn't really talk about me much, but I'd like to adopt you. I'm happy here with Mr. Knight. Madeline, don't be rude. At least give him a chance. I don't want to push anything, so how about you live with me for a week, and if you don't like it, I'll bring you right back here. Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Oh, perfect. You call me on this phone if you need anything, okay? I will. Thank you. Of course. Come here, kid. I bought you some candy. Susan tells me it's your favorite. Thanks. We'll be at my place soon. Is it good? Why do you have that stuffed animal? Oh, uh, one of my best friends from foster care gave it to me. You don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? No, not really. Hey, it's me. The candy worked. She's half out of it now. Excellent. All right, time to come inside. Come on. Finally, I can take this from her. So what do we do with her now? Well, she's already got Mr. Knight all the publicity he needs, so she's no longer of use to me. Susan, what's going on? Oh, Madeline, isn't it obvious? I'm getting you away from Mr. Knight. He's mine. Mr. Knight is gonna find me. He's not gonna look for you, because Susan's been telling him that you're fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, darling, but I need to be the focus of Mr. Knight's life. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Everything's fine, sir. I want to talk to her. Ah, uh, sorry, she just fell asleep. Thanks to this brat, Mr. Knight is getting suspicious. You're not gonna get away with this. Mr. Knight is gonna find me. It's him. Stay calm. I will handle it. Mm, so I can assure you, everything is fine. Help! Wait, don't open that- Madeline? I'm sorry, sir, but you're supposed to be in love with me, not her. You're my assistant. But I wanted to be more than that. You're insane. Both of you, get back. Susan and your fake uncle have both been arrested. I thought I'd never see you again. I am so sorry this happened, Madeline. But I promise, as your father, I'll protect you from now on. Father? So you still want to adopt me? Aw, oh, kid, of course. I mean, after all, we've got that list to finish, right? And look what I found. I love you, Dad. Madeline, I... I love you too. Mom, I can't do this anymore. I'm only 16. I... I can't handle her by myself. I have to put her up for adoption. Coming. Hi, my name is Emily. I was wondering if you wanted to buy some chocolate. Aren't you a little young to be selling stuff by yourself? Where's your mom? I, I ran away from my foster mommy. <sighs> you ran away? Oh, she's probably looking for you. Okay, here, um, come inside. Alright, well, I think I better call the police. What are you looking at? That little freckle you have right there. My daughter had the same one on her face. Oh my gosh. I think you might be my kid. You're my real mommy? You know what? I shouldn't have said that out loud. I don't know that for sure, but... Please, don't make me go back to my foster mom. She's really mean. Please don't bring me back to my foster mom. Sweetheart, I... Hi, I'm looking for a little girl. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and... Please, don't let her take me. Oh my gosh, Emily. I'm <sighs> sorry, she runs off a lot. Oh, does she? Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She... she makes me sell them. Oh boy, here we go again with the stories. I'm so sorry. But... but... Emily, do you want to time out? <gasps> no, no, please, then tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, Emily, it's time to go. Tell her. Tell her that you're my real mommy. I... Emily, we're leaving. Come visit me. My address is 2122 Maplewood. No, wait. I found her house. You know, I think she is my daughter. And I think I want her back. I am so sorry to bother you. And this is going to sound kind of crazy, but I think that Emily... Um, 
might be my daughter. And why do you think that? Well, about five years ago, I gave my daughter up for adoption. And how old is Emily? She's five. I see. And it's not just that. She also has a freckle in the same spot that my daughter had one. So you think that she's your daughter because of a freckle on her face? <sighs> well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Look, I don't have time for this. No, please wait. I, I'm just asking for a DNA test. I don't have the funds for that. Oh, no. I would cover all of the expenses. And if she is your daughter, do you plan on taking her back? Well, yes, I do. And what if she isn't? Then I guess I would have to leave her with you then. <sighs> Fine. I'll allow it. She did great, and we should have the results in 48 hours. Hi, is this Miss Monroe? I'm calling from the doctor's office regarding your DNA test. Wow, that was fast, and yes it is. So, according to our test, it looks like Emily is not your biological child. Are you... are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. No, it's... it's okay. So what'd they say? Emily, I just want to tell you that I think that you're a great kid and I am so sorry for getting your hopes up. What do you mean? Oh, I knew it. You're not a biological mother, are you? Are you? No, I'm not. No, please don't leave me here. You are my mommy. I know it. I hope you're happy with yourself. Hello? Hi, is this Miss Monroe? We're calling regarding your DNA test. Yes, it is, but you guys have already called me. No, ma'am, I think you're mistaken. We just got your results in a few hours ago. What? And it does look like Emily is your biological child. Emily, it's me. Is anyone home? This is ridiculous. Where are they? That looked like Emily in the back seat. Where is she taking her? No, listen to me. You don't understand. I am telling you that she is in danger. Again, ma'am, you don't know that for sure. And we can't do anything until she's been missing for a total of 24 hours. You know, if they're not going to help me, I'm going to find her myself. Hi, excuse me. Um, have you seen a little girl that looks like this? No, I have not. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's the foster mom. But where's Emily? Hey. Oh, you scared me. Good. Now, where's my daughter? Good Lord. Didn't we just establish that she's not your daughter? She is my daughter, and I think you and I both know that. You had someone send a fake phone call to me, didn't you? <laughs> you can't prove anything. Where is she? She's with a new foster family now. What? You gave her to a new family? She was too much for me to handle. I had to transfer her. Where? No, no. That is confidential information. You better tell me right now or I'll- Don't you dare threaten me. You're the one who gave her up in the first place. So if you want to be mad at anyone, why didn't you go look in the mirror? Why would she fake that phone call if she wanted to get rid of Emily anyways? Wait. Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She- she makes me sell them. I don't think that she gave her up. I think she wants to keep her and use her to make money. Emily, that is enough. It's time for bed. I want my real mom. She's gone. No, let go. Open up, ma'am. This is the police. The child is not on the bottom floor. Shh, guys, I heard something. Yeah. Emily. Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey. Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Hi, girly. Oh, hi, girls. Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Is that a Ross tag? This? I just put that on there so people wouldn't steal it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No, you're being sus. My daddy's in charge of these scores and I'm going to have him make yours public. Mommy, daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend, Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm -hmm. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales and... She said she's going to have him make our percentage score public. Oh boy. What are we going to do? 5% is like peasant material. 
I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%? That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow, I'm gonna be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or... or I'm going to scream. Okay, all right. It's canceled. We have a hundred percent? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run... <sighs> Todd! How dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... <gasps> uh, let me go, you jerks! Read this. Uh, I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script! Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet or we're going to get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? <sighs> Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> we'll bring in you to... Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's gonna kick your ass. I'd like to see him tr- <laughs> Yes, Todd, get them! <clears throat> and this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're gonna treat us with respect. Alright, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. Let's see what sense you lose, honey. Touch? Oh, wow. Does that mean that I can't feel pain? Yep, it sure does. Oh, this is gonna be the best day ever. And then after that, I got so embarrassed that I... Whoops. You jerk, you hit her right in the head. Hey, it's okay. I I can't feel pain. Oh. Really? Well, in that case, will you go to the blood drive with me? I'm really scared to go alone. Um, okay. Okay, let me see your arm. Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Um, honey, wake up. You're all done. I got a little bit distracted, but you should be fine. Mom, I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. Oh dear, okay honey, I'm taking you to get checked out. Any discomfort here? And how many fingers now? Three. I got your lab results, and I don't know how you didn't feel this. I can't believe you didn't feel this. Feel what? You said you've been feeling kind of lightheaded, correct? Yeah, just like kind of dizzy. That's because you have lost a significant amount of blood. Did you go to a blood drive or anything recently? Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. That lady, she did this to me. What lady, honey? The one from the blood drive. I have to go find her. Oh, no, you don't. 
You are in no condition to leave. But, honey, listen to the doctor. How are you not feeling pain? You almost died. Your heart could have stopped. Oh, my! You might want to close your eyes for this part. Is that a bite mark? That nurse at the blood drive, she must have been a...